All right. Next up, let's talk about some product collabs. So um, kind of as a recap, in 2023, we saw quite a bit of companies uh, come together and create a product that is either just better or um, cheaper. So number one, we have Abmat and Clevabilt with the Barbell Jack Evo. Uh, we know we Rogue and Kabuki combined to make the Transformer and Cadillac bars. The Rep and Belt Fed combination was awesome with some belts and utility straps. Um, Titan and Squat Max came together to produce a more refined and cheaper option for the Squat Max. Uh, Havoc and Pepin came up with the uh, easier to adjust stealth triad mammoth belt squat. So that was just a DIY project from Kyle and um, French Sport turned it into a product. And then Vintage Gains, we just had Rob on last week to talk about um, his collaboration with Micro Gains. We got, so, we got a few others too. Which ones? We I have the... Um, uh, the um the squared bar the saxon bar when abmat and eccles and yeah 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 there were there were definitely a few others um yeah yeah abmat always has some um that's true but yeah, most they... most of these are actually like companies to to companies that's kind of what i was thinking um and then i have some partnerships that I would like to see in 2024. This is, this is a kind of a fun one. Some of these might not be incredibly practical, but this feels like a dating show. You're like, gets people the, uh, gets the, uh, wheels rolling. All right. So PRX and Clevabilt. So, um, Clevabilt came out with like one of the most beautiful, um, landmines that you'll ever see. It's also protects the barbell very smooth. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a great product. And then PRX has, I think the only wall mounted landmine that can be also used as barbell stores. So you can lock it in place and, um, it can kind of do both. So my idea would be for PRX and Clevabilt to morph these products. I, I, I don't know if PRX has a patent or anything, but you know, don't necessarily just want to copy. So you want to work together maybe, and you could create a wall mounted, beautiful, beautifully well-made, um, landmine between these two made in America companies. And it could even be like a limited edition release. Um, I think that's cool. And I, I don't think too many people know about this wall mounted landmine from PRX, which could be a good option for a lot of people. Um, so that's number one. And next up, Henny attachment times rapid rings. So for anybody that doesn't know the Henny attachment is basically a a number of like straps combined together that you can attach a barbell to. And then it cr creates kind of like a jammer arm, like, um, adjustable exercise thing you can do. And then rapid rings are easy to adjust rings. Um, so the biggest issue that I have with the Henny attachment is, you know, if you want to change the height of the barbell, you have to like wheel, like take it out and then put it back in. Um, so if you combine it with some sort of contraption like the rapid rings, um, it would be an easy to adjust, much easier to adjust. And I, I think a lot more people would use, and I think it, it'd be something that I find myself using more often as well. So some sort of, um, combination of these two products, I think would be cool, um, in general to make an easier to adjust Henny attachment. Um, next up. I have eccentric or really any flywheel company and rep or really any company that can do, uh, that has a rack mounted pulley system. Um, so I think that 
here you, we'd want to create a pulley system that could alternate between traditional pulleys and flywheels. So Eccentric has a nice flywheel um, system that you can use as like a functional trainer, um, but you're you you're kind of stuck with that on one post as opposed to traditional weight. So it'd be cool if you could somehow figure out um, a way to turn one on and turn the other off. So I think that would be a cool um, combination. Next, let's go with Darko lifting times Kabuki. So I think there's enough people that have like the three main Kabuki bars that have storage issues that um, where Darko could create a specific rack mounted solution for these three specific bars or like some basically some sort of um, contraction to hold a duffalo multi grip and some sort of safety squat bar. So I think more specific options with uh, a specific company that, that offers um, specialty bars would be a great start there. And then lastly, um, so Force USA is best known for their all-in-ones. And with your all-in-one purchase, you, um, you receive quite a bit of attachments. You receive like a lap pull down, a tricep bar, like uh, handles, um, multi-grip bar, um, a, a ton of different things. So my idea for Force USA or any of these all-in-one companies who are offering just like the ba kind of basics, they're like attachments that get the job done, um, but they're not, they're nothing special would be to offer like morph with a company like JD gym equipped to offer a premium attachment upgrade. Um, so I think those are it. Yeah, those that's it, Adam. Um, do you have a favorite? Yes. Yeah, I like the uh, the Darko lifting and the specialty bar um, storage. Oh. Yeah, that's my favorite. As I was saying that one out loud, I was like, oh, I'm not really confident in this one. But Oh, that's the one I like the best. That's the one you like um, the most. Yeah, like storing specialty bars is a pain, um, especially like your Transformers and your Mars bars and, and things like that. Um, they don't fit on a traditional storage, so you have to get creative. Like I currently have bike hooks hanging the Mars bar from the rafters in my basement. So yep. if uh, Darko had like a real slick design that just like fit the gym really well, um, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I don't know if it'd be so much like them partnering with Kabuki. I think I could see like maybe it being like a catalog in Kabuki stores, um, but yeah, maybe like Kabuki making it. Or, yeah, something like that. Well, or I was, just like I was him thinking, offering it on his own. I was thinking Darko could create it and then Kabuki could sell it in their stores. Like, oh, here's a way to store yeah. it on your racks. Yeah. Right. As like what an add-on, like as you're checking out with the yeah. rack. Like, uh, second favorite was the um, rapid rings and the Henny attachment. Yeah, I haven't used I think the Henny because, cool. like, you know, yeah. Like the height of my like ceilings and stuff. Like, yeah, I don't. It just wouldn't work for me, but um, I do see people using it, and it seems like there's a lot of setup time. Like um, Kurt uses the Henny quite a bit, and like he does some really cool stuff. But it looks like it takes a little bit of time to set up. Um, yeah, wrapping rings would be cool. Well, if, and if you could if you could do this, you could pretty much just keep the barbell on all the time and just like easily put it to the top. And, and have it just stored. So you're not like always taking it in and out of the little straps. Yeah. Like getting the rings down, like it's not even a Henny, but just like getting the rings down in general, like for my kids and then putting them back, it sucks. It, it's just like a time waster. So rapid rings is like such a smart idea. The problem with the rapid rings is they're like, I think they're like close to, I think they're over 200 bucks yeah 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 you'd have to be like really sick and tired or like you know at a crossfit gym where you're like dangling like you know four sets of them or something right 
Right. Yeah. Or a cool gift, honestly. That would be a cool gift. Yep. Like getting stuff where like typically wouldn't buy for yourself because it's just a little too much for what it is, but it'd be a fun gift to get for sure. Yep. Cool. All right. Just like Santa, we wrapped that one up.